A Jones County Sheriff says their drug unit was serving a search warrant at a home on Briarwood Circle. They say they found drugs, guns, and seven pounds of marijuana. Camila Williams is in studio to tell us what they didn't expect to find. That's right. Last Friday, the drug unit found 20 dogs at the home, vet medications, and weighted dog collars. They suspect the man who owns the home was running a dog fighting ring. Baron Hall with the Jones County Drug Unit told me they were executing a search warrant at Dan Cleveland's home for narcotics. The search warrant was executed. We found a large quantity of marijuana. How about seven pounds worth and five firearms? Hall says there was more. We saw several things that uh, led us to believe that he was possibly uh, a fighting dogs or in the business of breeding dogs for fighting. He says they found treadmills, heavy chains, pet medications, and weighted vests. I believe there was like a total of, it was either seven or eight uh, adult dogs, um, but two of the, the dogs out of those were females that had litters of pups, so it was upwards to 20 plus. So where did the dogs go? Jones County Animal Services took them. County Administrator Jason Risner says they were taken to a private rehabilitation facility. All of the dogs that we had uh, on site were uh, were transferred to that rescue organization. We didn't have to euthanize any of them, and so um, we're hopeful that they'll be able to work with those dogs and rehabilitate them, and that they'll be able to find new homes. Hall says the investigation has been going on for at least two months. He says situations like this happen often. You find what you're looking for, but then it just it unfolds to being a whole lot more, whether if it's dog fighting, whether if it's, um, you know, you go in there looking for drugs. You, next thing you know, you've unraveled a, a theft ring. Cleveland was arrested and charged with possession of marijuana, firearm by convicted felon, and dog fighting. Back to you. Hall says Cleveland was not supposed to have any firearms because he's a convicted felon. One of the guns they found was stolen from an incident three years ago. Dog fighting is a felony offense in all 50 states. It's also a felony offense under federal law. We're taking a closer look at dog fighting penalties in Georgia. Senate Bill 68 was signed into law this month by Governor Kemp. It was sponsored by State Senator Rick Williams. It defines dog fighting as an illegal racketeering sport. That makes it an offense that can be charged under the state's RICO Act. That refers to organized crime that makes a profit. It means repeat offenders would see higher penalties and allows prosecutors to go after the entire criminal enterprise. As a RICO offense, a pattern of dogfighting would be a felony and be punishable with up to 5 to 20 years in prison and fines.